Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And today I'm going to showcase, well, I'm going to show you how to install Halo Combat Evolved on Ubuntu 13.04, but this also should work for 12.04 and 12.10. Now, the version I'm going to be showcasing to you is the trial version, since I don't own the full thing. However, it should be the same. If you own the full thing, you should be able to install it in the same manner that I do. So the trial version that I've gotten is from CNET. Now the problem with CNET is that they use this proprietary download installer program, which is a real nuisance. So once you've downloaded it from their website, you will have this strange EXE. This is not Halo. This is their downloader program. But we can still make use of it using Play on Linux. So things you will need for this tutorial is the Halo Combat installer, or in this case, I will be using the installer from CNET. If you have yours, you can use yours. The second thing you will need is Play on Linux, which I am using version 4.2.1. You can get it straight from their website. A link to their website will be in the description down below. And the second thing, no, the third thing you'll need. First, go to Tools, Manage Wine Versions. We are going to be using the latest version of Wine at this point in time, which is 1.7.1. Now, to install a Wine version in Play on Linux, you select one on the left here. It can be any one you wish. And then you click this arrow button in the middle. It will install it for you, and when it's done, it will appear on the right. So all the Wine versions on the right are the ones that you have installed. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let us install Halo Combat Evolved. So first, click on the Install button. Now go to the bottom left and click on Install a Non-Listed Program. Alright, give it a couple of seconds. Okay. Click Next. Now what we're going to do is install a program in a new virtual drive. Okay. Click Next. Now here's where you give the virtual drive a name. In this case, I'll just give it Halo Combat E How To. You can name it anything you want, but be descriptive. It always helps to be descriptive. Maybe it would be best to type it as Halo CE. All right, click Next. Now we're going to do all three things here. You're going to tick Use Another Version of Wine. You're going to tick Configure Wine. And you're also going to tick Install Some Libraries. All right, so click Next. Here's where we choose the Wine version. Remember I was talking about the Wine version just now? 1.7.1 is what we want. So scroll down. Select 1.7.1 and click Next. Now it will create the virtual drive for you. We're going to need to configure it first. This can take a couple of seconds, so we just need to be a bit patient. All right. Now, this is actually optional. But it's always best to go into configuration, click graphics, and then tick emulate a virtual desktop. What we're doing here is we're setting Wine to go into windowed mode so that you can install the application. And if something goes wrong, it doesn't affect your whole desktop. It just affects this small window. So I'm going to set the resolution of this small window to 1600 by 900. I click apply and I click OK. All right, here is where we need to install a very important component needed for the Halo installer to work, which is MFC42. So scroll down until we reach M. Okay, now we want MFC42. Tick it, make sure it's correct, MFC42. Now we can click Next. It will install a DLL. Now, usually it'll download it, but I've already downloaded it in the past, so it's very fast. Once that's done, now you're going to click Browse. What are you browsing to? You're browsing to the installer 
file, which in my case is on the desktop, which is really just seen as downloader, a nuisance, but nonetheless it works in Wine, which is good. So I'm going to be clicking this, Combat Evolved SEO. You want to make sure that you're clicking the Combat Halo Evolved EXE, all right? So I'm clicking this, it knows it, we click Next. So since CNET needs to use this downloader, which is a nuisance, we have to let it do the downloading itself, which can take some time. For those of you with an installer, you don't have this downloader, you just have the installer, you can go straight ahead and skip to the future part of the video where we showcase how to continue the installation. But for those of you using the CNET downloader, follow this. So here we're going to click Next Step. Now it's going to say offers, but nothing will appear here. It's supposed to, but nothing does. doesn't matter. Click next step a couple of times until it finally goes to installation. On average, I think you have to click the next step button about five or six times before it will go to installation. So now it's going to download the installer, which in this case is only 134 megabytes because it's the trial version. The full game is a lot larger. If at any given time during the download, it suddenly says this application has crashed or does not work, ignore that error. Let it continue to download in the background. All right. So now we're just going to let this download. And I'm going to skip ahead into the video to after, after to when it's finished downloading. All right. All right. So we are nearing the completion of the software downloading. Okay, CNET's download program has said that the, the installer has finished downloading. So now we can simply click Install Now. This will immediately run the Halo Combat Evolved installer. Now, of course, for those of you who are not using CNET's installer, you should be fine. You will have the Combat Evolved installer start up straight away. This real player thing will say that it failed to completely, uh, completely download successfully. You click restart download, it'll open up in your browser, but you can ignore this. Just close it, ignore it, it does not matter. All right, so now that we've closed that, now we click on the install button. This is pretty much the same installation procedure as it would be on Windows. We click install. If you don't want it to go on the desktop, then you sh I'm sure you'll want to un unclick this. Okay, click install. Since this is the trial version, it'll install pretty fast. If you're installing the full thing, it'll be a bit longer. Since the game is still going for $20, with how old it is and a dying multiplayer, I don't really feel like purchasing it, especially not since this is a Windows-only game. All right, so that's it. Right then and there, the game has been installed fully. So if you were to click Play Now, the game would start up. It would ask you to accept the license agreement, which you do. And the game starts up at the resolution of the window that you set. Now remember, I set it at 1600 by 900, so it immediately jumps to that size. However, if you set it anything higher, it probably won't work. You'll have to use the arguments in Play on Linux. So for now, if you go into Settings, Video Setup, you can see everything here is set. All right, click Cancel. You can start playing straight away, but I do recommend that you click quit. Okay. Now he's going to do a lot of talking. If you want to skip this, press Alt F4. That will force the game to close. Don't worry, it will still be okay. Well, the game is supposed to close completely, but it's choosing not to. So I'm going to click the X button on the top left. So this does happen sometimes where the window will not close. So in the background, you can see it says that it's still asking you to wait. This is OK. You can click Cancel straight away. It will close this window. But you'll notice on here, there's no shortcut to your game. I have a shortcut, but to a previous install. Where's the shortcut to the game I just installed? So to do that, we're going to click Create a Shortcut on the right here. It doesn't matter what you select here. We're going to click Create a Shortcut. Oh, wait, no, no. We want to 
click configure my apologies click configure now on the left this is the halo that we just installed halo combat e how to remember that what we're going to do here is click make a new shortcut from this virtual drive all right so from here we're going to seek out halo.exe click next you can name this anything you want or you can leave it as is for now i'll leave it as is click next it appears on the desktop and you're pretty much done here you can click cancel and you can click close so now you have the game just now that was installed if you were to click run it will start up now you're not hearing any sounds from the game because I'm not recording the game sound right now so don't worry about that you will hear the game sound when you're done so if I were to click quit again click OK Alt F4 again to force it to close this time it properly closes itself. Now I want it to run at full screen, all right? My screen is 1920 by 1080p, but Halo is such an old game that it does not support this resolution. What do I do? I click on configure. Make sure that you have Halo, the one that you installed, selected. Click configure, all right? Now in the arguments tab down below here, we're gonna pass it the following parameters dash vid mode space and then the resolution that you're going to give it I'm going to give it 1920 comma 1080 comma and then the refresh rate which I'm gonna put at 60 maybe you want to put yours at 59 or 50 depending on your screen minus 60 so the resolution I'm going for is 1920 by 1080 with 60 all right now that that's done, we close this and we click run again. Now the game should run in full screen. And it's going to give you a sorry, blah, 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 because we force shut it with Alt F4. That's OK. Click continue anyway. So now it's running in 1920 by 1080p, but this is windowed mode. You don't want to see these corner bars, right? So we're going to exit the game once more. And yes, I'm going to click Alt F4 again. It seems a bit tedious, but once you get to know how it works, it becomes pretty easy. So we're going to go to Configure. And this is the last thing we're going to do. We're going to go to Wine, Configure Wine. Remember how we made it into a virtual desktop? Under Graphics, we set emulate a virtual desktop by 1600 by 900. Let's change this. This should be the same as the resolution that you're passing in the arguments tab before this. So remember we passed vid set uh, we passed vid mode 1920 1080. So the desktop size here must be the same. If you pass 1600 by 900 in there, this also must be 1600 by 900. So we do that, click apply, click OK. We can close this. Now we can run the game and it should be full screen. 1920 by 1080p. It will always show this warning if you force exit like I do, which is Alt F4. But if you let it shut down itself normally, you'll be fine. So click continue anyway. And there you have it. You have Combat Halo Combat Evolved working fine in Ubuntu 13.04. I apologize that this is not the full version of the game, but since I don't own it, this is the best I can do. So the person who requested this, I hope this helps you get the game up and running in Ubuntu 13.04. So I hope this video helps you guys and thanks for watching.